Hello there. In this video, I want to look at mapping keys on the keyboard to joystick functions. So if you have one of these controllers, um, which has multiple fire buttons, you can take a legacy Spectrum game and you can assign all of the keys for that game to the various buttons. And for the purposes of this exercise, I'm using an 8-bit DO, which is an M30 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller. It's got a whole bunch of buttons on there, which are wasted pretty much on a lot of the old Spectrum games. And I'm going to be using School Days as an example. I want to map all of the buttons from School Days to my controller. So let's just find School Days here and run that. It's taken us to the um, configuration screen. Uh, we've got weight at loading screen on and under joystick settings, if I press J, left and right joystick are both set to default. Um, as you can see at the top, select the controls and then press space. And what I want to do is I want to configure the left joystick. So I'm gonna press E and then that takes me to the first key selection. So for up, I actually want QAOP because those are the default controls. Now, fire, which is uh, B on the 8-bit do, or 8-bit do controller and probably other controller types. Um, I want to be F because that is the control in school days to fire the catapult. And then you've got fire 2C. Now, what I want to do with that is map it to caps lock because that is effectively the run key. When you hold down caps and move, you run. Start, I'm not too bothered about. I'll set that to one. And then button A, I'm going to have as H, which in school days is hit. Um, button X, I'm going to have as S, which is sit. Button Y, I'll have as W, which is right when you're writing on the blackboard. And button Z is going to be J for jump. So once that's all done, as you can see at the top now, left joystick is set to key joy, keyboard joystick. I can now press space and I'm back to this screen here. If I now press 48K mode, number four, the game will load. And there's a couple of benefits to this. Um, one, when you load school days normally um, and you wanna select joystick, you have to go through the process of renaming the characters. So effectively you have to press Y in order to customize your controller. But now I've set up a key joy, I can just press no to this. Now I'm using my 8-bit do controller. Oh no, Angel Face has mumps. I think he just touched me, didn't he? Oh well. Press U if you understand. Understood. Okay. So now I can hold down the C on this controller and move around and run quickly. Uh, I can press B, which lets me shoot the old catapult, knock some teachers over. Oh dear, I think they're coming after me, aren't they? Oh no, it just seems to be moving really quickly. Um, I can press A on this to hit. And I've got X, Y, and Z as well. I can sit down. That would be right, not doing anything because I'm not by a blackboard. And then Z, of course, jump. So all of the controls for this game are on the joystick. And that's school days. So the next game I'm going to remap the keys for is that classic game Elite. Elite obviously has lots of keys. And there's certainly aren't enough keys on this controller to handle them all. But at least all the important stuff you can. So here's Elite, and uh, we'll press J to go into joystick settings. And as you can see, left and right are both set at default. Um, so I'm going to press E for left, and I'm going to configure that. Now, of course, up in Elite and dive and climb are reversed, as in a flight simulator. So obviously, if I want to go up, I want to X. And if I want to go down, I need to S, dive. Left and right is roll anti-clockwise and clockwise. So left is effectively N for November. And clockwise is M. And then I want to decide what to do with the various fire buttons, etc. So what I'd like to do here is I'd like the fire B 
to be F, which is fire missile. And then fire 2C, I'd like to be symbol shift because that is decreasing speed. Start again, I'm not bothered with. And then button A, I want to be my laser. Um, button X, I want to be target missile. Button Y, I want to be untarget missile. And then button Z, I want to be space to increase speed. And it makes sense when you look at it on the controller itself. So now you can see left joystick is set to key join. I press space and then I'm going to press 4 to load it in 48K mode. Load new commander N. Don't want to do that. And then press space and there we are at LAV or however you like to pronounce it. So I'm going to launch and then I'm going to try out these controls. I did get the um, up and down the wrong way around, but that's no problem. We can just go back in and correct that. Um, a is my laser. Uh, Z and C. So Z is making me go faster, and C is slowing me down. And then, of course, I can target missile with the X key. Target it on the Coriolis space station. Y, of course, on targets, and if I want to fire the missile, I need to X to target and then B. Um, let me just check about that. Here we go, now I'm targeted and fire the missile. So it does make things quite a bit easier. And of course, as per the last demonstration I did, uh, if you do make a mistake, and as I say, I've got up and down the wrong way around here, you can just go back into the browser, hold down symbol shift, press enter on elite, and then you can go back into the joystick configuration. Press E for left, and obviously I need to reverse S and X. So it's going to be S and then X and then I need to press all the keys that I picked again. F, symbol shift, 1, A, T, U, space. And then press space. Launch in 48K mode. And my direction should now be correct. So down will now be up. And that's right. So I can do all the flights, I can speed up, slow down, and I can target and launch missiles all from my controller. And of course, as mentioned in the last video, these settings are persistent now. They are stored in cache, as you'll remember, and the default option. options save to cache here and again we can go look at the cache which is in the next zxos folder and then we have the folder called metadata and you'll see now on the c drive there's an entry for classic e which is where elite lives and there we have the metadata file which contains all of those joystick key assignments